thing about um, change is it's hard. And really, really, most people don't want to change. Um, and they don't want to change because it's it's easier. And, you know, I get it. I, I've been there myself. It's easier to stay where you are. But the thing with that is everything that you want is always outside that comfort zone, always. And so if you're not feeling satisfied or feeling frustrated or overwhelmed or that things aren't happening for you um, quick enough, there's something then you need to do, you need something needs to change um, to get outside of your comfort zone. And what we see is a lot of people want to get a totally different set of results, but without doing any change. So the first thing I want to say to you is change is inevitable. And the quicker that you realize that change is absolute, an absolute necessity and stop looking for perhaps solutions that promise you a different set of results without doing any change, then the quicker that you realize that, the better. Because there's lots of people offering this and you know, it would be easy and it'd be quicker and this is going to be the the silver bullet that's going to, to really help you. But actually, these are just big distractions. So the big, big, the quicker you get your head around the fact that change is necessary and you just then put on, as my fantastic mentor Bernadette would say, your big girl or your big boy panties and get into action, the quicker that you're going to start getting your results and the quicker that your business will progress. Um, and these are the, you know, these are things that we witness helping our clients who get amazing results. Um, so just to give you an example, um, one of our clients, Rachel, when she came into our program, she, in fact, she almost didn't sign up to our Rocket program because she's just like, how am I going to pay for this? Um, and she had one other team member, and I think at the time she was doing average fees of about 5K. She has um, totally pushed herself out of her comfort zone and she's really really stepped up and one of the things again like the Bernadette would say uh, my coach would say is if you want to expand your income you have to expand the level of your offering so you know um, if you're working on sort of one or two thousand uh, fees you know you'll be hitting a level of like a ceiling of income so if you want to get past that ceiling you actually need to increase your value increase your offering and in the last I think it's probably only six months actually. Rachel has increased her average order value to 60,000. Now, she's not done that by the way by just adding a couple of zeros on her offering. She has gone through massive internal shifts. She's busted through internal limiting beliefs. She's also gone through periods where it's actually been really uncomfortable for her. But the bottom line is she's just gone, I'm going to do what it takes to break through. And the bottom line here is you have to have the mentality that I'm going to do whatever it takes to break through from this and a willingness to go through that fear and embrace that fear even and go into that unknown, even if you don't know what is in that unknown. And so that's what we're dealing with here. It, it's, you know, there's no shortcuts. There's no quick wins here. It's, it's actually just um, embracing the fear and taking action through it. So I, the question I want you just to ponder on, and like you might not know the answer now, but just write this question down, is what if the biggest challenge in front of you was the greatest gift to move to the next level? What is it? What's that next level for you?